for the longest time we were in the same class in school and everything. Same age, same, we're going through the same stuff all the time. Same friends and like to go to the same places and do the same things. When we look back at old photos, we, we're not sure who's who. Not so much now. It's like not being in control of your own body. It's like something else is controlling you and, and trying, to, trying to keep you from doing what you want to do. I'd like to feel the sensation and try and uh, grapple with sort of everyday tasks and, and see what that's like, what it's like for Jim. He started really as a thought experiment about could we create empathy for Parkinson patients. Simple works by digitizing the muscle spasm using electromyogram, which is basically measuring the muscle activity, transmitting that to the non-patient, to the caregiver, and using electrical muscle stimulation to make their muscle contract the same way as the patient. <laughs> do you scream? Do I feel something? Look at my hand. Look at my hand. It's like I have lost complete control of my arm. Exactly. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's the first time I've ever seen my tremor in somebody else. I want everyone to be able to feel that. Having felt it, I'm, I, I was, I was, I really kind of. It was amazing. It made me feel really, really good. And it, I think it opened up the possibility of doing this for a whole range of disease and other applications. You could imagine telemedicine across the planet, where if you have a patient with a rare form of disease and a specialist somewhere else on the planet, they could transmit the, the symptoms. And that specialist somewhere can do a diagnosis with way more accuracy than just asking questions or looking through a video. Nurses and neurosurgeons could experience it in almost real time. I think it will be a game changer for them. You can also potentially transmit treatment. And now the doctor would feel what the patient tremors are right now and what those tremors would be if I gave them medication A, B, or C. It's quite amazing how much we can do now and we will be able to do in the near future with technology.